What is going on, you beautiful thought-having people, you? Give it thought back here today for another No Man's Sky news update. Well, it may not be exactly No Man's Sky news, but it is pretty darn close. So I wanted to make a video over this game, No Mario Sky, in the past, but I never really got the opportunity. And I don't really get the chance to talk about the big N either. So I'm really excited to finally talk about this fan-made game. And the fact that it mashes up two of my favorites, No Man's Sky and Mario, is pretty interesting. And plus, the whole thing makes for a nice story. So without further ado, let's jump into this. In case you haven't heard, No Mario Sky was a fan-made game made by four people that sort of parodies the No Man's Sky universe, starring everyone's favorite plumber, Mario. It was released for PC about a week and a half ago, and it's seen a lot of players. In the game, you control Mario as he is placed on a procedurally generated World 1-1. And with that, you see where the No Man's Sky parody comes in. But then you get a ship and you can leave that world to find new ones. And not only are these worlds random, but the Goomba enemies are as well. They aren't radically different though, but apparently some are outfitted with Donald Trump hair, which is pretty funny. All in all, it's a fun little distraction. It's not very deep, so don't expect much going into it, but I'll leave a download link for the new version in the description. And you'll see what I mean by new version in a second. Because yesterday evening, Nintendo's lawyers hit the small four-person team that made No Mario Sky with a DMCA copyright claim. And it forced the team to take down the game. When I first saw this, I had my fingers crossed hoping that it wasn't Hello Games that issued the copyright claim. And thankfully, it was not because they do not need any more bad press. But the team that got the game taken down were pretty cordial about the whole thing. They released a statement saying, and I quote, Thanks everyone for playing and enjoying our little fan game. We would love to see an official Nintendo game in this style, a Mario Galaxy style game in 2D within a procedurally generated universe. So it's nice to see they didn't get too salty about the claim. Now, Nintendo seems to have been going a little wild with these DMCA claims lately. They've took down the recently AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake, and Pokemon Uranium, which I really enjoyed. But they have the right to do that, and I'll get to that later as well. But the story for No Mario Sky doesn't end there. The small team has already released a replacement for their taken down creation, cheekily named DMCA Sky. In that version of the game, Mario is replaced by Spaceman Finn, and Princess Peach is replaced by Princess Mango. And the team described their new parody game like this. Featuring crazy Moombas, an infinite universe, muscle, amazing physics, and a radical spaceship, DMCA Sky is the hackneyed remake gone mashup you've been craving. So this game is still available for play. And as you can see on the screen, it's very similar to No Mario Sky, they just had to change some of the assets in order to avoid future DMCA claims. But I love that they came back with something. And it's not that I want them to spit in the face of Nintendo. Nintendo had every right to take down the game because it is their IP. But it's nice to see a little piece of rebelliousness shine in the face of a large company like Nintendo. But I honestly don't really have a solid opinion on this. I know Nintendo has seen a lot of bad press lately with their taking down of all these fan-made games. So I wanted to ask you guys what you thought. Do you think Nintendo is in the wrong here? And was No Mario Sky a harmless little fan-made game that didn't deserve a takedown? Or do you think No Mario Sky was in the wrong, and it should not have even attempted to use the Mario IP? Let me know down in the comments. But I think that's where I'm going to end today's video. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe? As I mentioned yesterday, we just passed 500 subscribers, and I'm super excited to bring you guys more content in the future. And I upload every day. So if you want to be first in line for all that stuff, go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you enjoyed this news update, why not check out yesterday's Final Fantasy XV news update? It was all about why the game loses its open world status halfway through. And if you're waiting for the release of that game, go check that out. It's pretty interesting. But I think that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, give thought to everything. Thank you.